All right. So at this stage, you're you've been working now with jQuery UI for a while. You've been you've uh, used two different widgets, and you've even explored some of the themes and how they work. In this video, I want to. It's not a mandatory one. Again, you could skip this video, but in this video, we're going to dig into the CSS structure. It's really an overview and kind of a hint towards if you want to start building your own widgets and you want to create start customizing your own widgets and customizing the themes themselves. So I'm going to, without further ado, I'm going to jump right into the development bundle. And in our case, because we have a um, a customized version of jQuery UI, if you remember, we only downloaded the button and the date picker. Once we double click into the bundle itself and go into the themes, so I'm going to go into the themes folder. You'll find inside of there all the different CSS files, but literally only the files that together combined will be able to make our button and our date picker work. Picker work. We're not going to see anything but that. With that said, just as a side note, you have a minified folder, which in it you'll be able to find all the files also minified as well. Now, if we jump into the files themselves, really we're breaking down into if we had to cluster them into four different file types. There are four file types. One is the all file type. Then there's the base file type. There's the core. There's the theme, and then there's the different types of components. All right. So let's take a a little bit of a look. Let's explore starting with the all. And as the name implies, it basically loads everything up. It loads the base CSS file using the import parameter. I think it's called derivative. Well, it imports the base CSS and the theme CSS. Now, the theme CSS has everything to do with the theme specifically. It's a very big file. Let's start with that because it's the most simple one. It has a lot of CSS and a lot of details that go into the details of overall things that relate to the widget, from rollovers and and um. How things look like when they're disabled, and icons, and and widget headers, and so 